Hey guys, back from Relentless. I went to Relentless 2013 this weekend in uh, Minnesota. Back from that powerlifting meet. It's been a couple days since I did video, so I wanted to um, wanted to talk today about um, Relentless, the meet in general, cynicism in lifting, um, the good and the bad. Because you know. I was just at a powerlifting meet um, where there was 90 lifters. A certain portion of this uh, of this team um, of these competitors were from Team Hope. Um, I believe 30 of them, and they competed for a group of kids called Hope Kids. Now, I believe Hope Kids is a group of kids that have uh, life-threatening illnesses and um, you know cancer stuff that's not good. And, you know, on the net, you tend to run into so much hatred and bashing, and you tend to think uh, sometimes that there's not a lot of good out there in the lifting industry. But, you know, one thing you, one thing you walk away from when you go to a powerlifting meet, especially one like this where, where uh, the lifters are gathering to, to help kids, is that there is really a lot of good out there in the lifting community. And if, if you just sit behind a computer, sometimes you don't get a chance to witness that firsthand. I saw kids backstage that literally, you know, that had face deformities and and uh, issues that, you know, it's it's hard not to cry watching this stuff or watching these kids because you're touched so much. And then you see on the platform the biggest lifters in the world. You know, there must have been 30 plus guys there benching 600 pounds and and um, you see the kids are allowed on the stage while the lifters, you know, close to the lifters. And there's such a unique bond. It, it, it's just such a touching event. And, um, you know, it, it really speaks to you about the fact that there is still heroes in this world and there are good people. So if you kind of feel detached from that, <clears throat> detached from that in life, you know, I, I just want to encourage you to step out and, uh, you know, try to find some people like this to get involved with because, uh, you know, this relentless meet, uh, like I said, was uh, really a world-class event and uh, they raised, uh, I believe, $105,000 for kids with cancer and kids with serious illnesses and, um, you know, just just a bunch of group of meatheads, a bunch of group of uh, of strong guys doing this for kids, and they they accomplished quite a bit. And I know it means a lot to this family. And you know, beyond that, I want to give a shout out to the Lillibridge family, um, Ernie Ernie Jr. and uh, and Eric. They came to this event not to compete, but uh, but as in the role of servants, they went up there and uh, did spotting, plate loading. And uh, not only that, but uh, rumor has it they sticked around. At, they stuck around after this 13, 14 hour event, and uh, were cleaning up, mopping the floors, and putting away chairs. And uh, you know, it's not something you expect from the best powerlifters in the world. You know, you, you you don't expect that kind of humility. So I want to give a big shout out to Ernie Senior, and the way he is raising these boys. Um, you know, I, I have the the greatest uh, respect in the world for them. I have the greatest amount of respect in the world for Scott Nutter and the, the people behind Relentless and Team Hope and all the people that competed this weekend. So, guys, I know some of you aren't into powerlifting who watch my channel, but the big point here I want to get across um, is that, you know, if you're hiding behind a computer, <clears throat> not hiding, but, you know, behind, stuck behind a computer, and you feel like there's not a lot of hope and not a lot of heroes in the world, you got to get out a little bit more and, uh, and join some of us because there really are some good lifters out there doing some good stuff in in uh, in the, uh, the old muscle building realm. So if you're anywhere near Minnesota, or I believe there's a rent Relentless in Detroit as well, if you're anywhere near these meets, I strongly encourage you to... Uh, to get, go out of your way and make a road trip in 2014 and support these um, support these things because they are well worth your time. So, guys, we'll get back to regularly scheduled programming very soon. Sport my new muscle and strength T-shirt, guys. I I want to encourage you to uh, stick around on my channel. Going to have some good topics this week. 
And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.